Hello everyone and welcome to Winks with Cynthia Tidley. I'm your host, Cynthia Tidley, and it's time for our annual Passover review with Mrs. Katzman. Welcome back, Mrs. Katzman. Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Katzman. Happy Pesach! <laughs> Again, that's the Hebrew word for Passover. So happy Passover for me to translate it to you. All right, today we're doing a traditional uh, <clears throat> Passover review. And uh, we're going to go back to the very basics, okay? We are going to review the standard matzah. All right, now it doesn't matter what brand you're going to go with. You're going to wind up constipated. <laughs> Um, it's just like that Rolling Rock song, Stop Me Up. Um, it stops me up every time. It's like, it's like my uh, Passover anthem, right? Okay, right, okay, 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 yeah. It's unleavened bread, all right, so no yeast. Uh, all right. I mean, a bite or two, you're gonna be all right. You know what I mean? But you go any longer than that, you're going to have problems all week long. <clears throat> I said to my rabbi once, I said, look at I got the perfect cure. I'm not going to eat any matzo or matzo products. I'm going to eat dairy and nuts and meats and all the rest. And then he said, that's not the point, uh, Mrs. Katzman, of the Passover holiday. Uh... I said, what's the point? To get constipated? Uh, so anyway, getting back to serving suggestions for you, other than don't eat it, <laughs> uh, would be, uh, you know, melted cheese, peanut butter, uh, jelly. Now, some, of course, don't do the peanuts during the holiday. Uh, that's obviously a choice, but, uh, that's really where I stand. You know, they make songs about anticipation, but <clears throat> I think constipation could be a theme song as well, so. Also, I got to tell you, I had just served the matzo ball soup at Arceda. I look out the window and there are two bushy-tailed furry squirrels in the throes of sweet, sweet intercourse, if you know what I mean. And I'm not talking about uh, verbal intercourse. Uh, I was so mortified until uh, I realized that they were just celebrating the rebirth uh, of the time of the year and the holiday as well. So <laughs> Passover, not just for humans anymore. <laughs> Happy Pesach. <sighs> Mrs. Katzman, thank you so much. Always right on topic. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you again next week. And I wish you happy Passover to those of you who celebrate Passover. Happy Easter to those of you who celebrate Easter on Sunday. And happiness in general to everyone. Thank you so much. Cynthia Tidley.